everybody what's going on Ruben Texas all water fishing we are at the Galveston County fish and outdoor expo today um, it's gonna be really rough cut because I'm getting out of here late so when I head to the house I'm gonna dump the video edit as fast as I can upload it and get you guys to you so forgive me if it's a little rough but that's just how we're gonna roll with this one but I am over here at Smoking Z's barbecue Hey man, Smoke and Z's, we're in Bayou Vista, Texas. Come and see us Saturdays and Sundays only, 11 a.m. until we're sold out. Come early. Awesome. All right. Food. Awesome. Thank you. And uh, they have some pretty amazing food over here. Now, you also have Boyd's Crawfish Warehouse is here too. You like crawfish, that your, that's your thing. But they have crawfish. And let me show you this burger. This is a smoked brisket burger, right? So this thing is amazing. It does have saucers and other stuff, but this smoked brisket burger is going to be uh, it's gonna be pretty good. So I'm going to dive into that, and you guys dive into this video. Just here, got no sausage here. This is my buddy. All right. That was great. A few more burgers left on here. Smoking, smoking these. Best barbecue ever. Woo! Look at that. Oh, oh, man. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. No way. Hey, guys. What's going on? Hey, how's it going, man? Ruben, Texas All Water Fishing. Hey, what's, what's up? Going nice on? to meet you. What's going on, man? Good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what's going on, guys? Y'all got a minute? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Before everybody okay, starts coming through? Get on with YouTube. Hey, what, a, what do you have going on at the show today? So for the show, we got some specific colors that we got going on. We got Paco Glow in the 3.5. We got uh, Bonehead 1975. has been really good around here. Um, I brought back the Rev, which is an old school color I used to make. And then we have one that matches his jig head that, that he came out with. Albino Roach. Hmm. Something different. Yeah. And then uh, we got Black Diamond. Oh, 3.5. Yeah. And then we have all 17 colors in the 4.5 inverted paddle toe. Awesome. These are the... That's 1975 rigged up. Oh, that looks nice. I only have X amount, so... What I did was I, I I put out enough for Friday, put out enough for Saturday. And after so that, it's all up for grabs. Sunday, that's it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it, a hope and a prayer. And then this is the, the matching jig head. Oh, that's nice. So two-tone. Match the bait. Oh, that's cool. So yeah. what's the jig heads over here? Yes, yeah, sir. check them out. Salty. Like yes, sir. Salty head. I got oh, some uh, jig, so uh, jig heads with the extra wide gap hook. Really? So yeah, I, I don't know if you've ever fished here. with a uh, live bait and stuff that's like that. You know, yeah. Everybody, yeah. everybody uses them. I don't know. Okay. 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 But uh, they use those crazy hooks, you know, croaker hooks, and they're all yeah, yeah, kid hook. So that's kind of like the same idea. So once the fish gets hooked, they'll come down. So it'll be like at a different angle to actually hold on to the fish a little bit longer. You know what I mean? Because sometimes you're right there, you have it right in the boat. Yep. Especially with flounder, these break a lot. So this is my my favorite stuff. I also got the the short shanks too. So. Oh, more no, action no, to the bait. That's how I like it. I like yeah. to have. Uh, so that would maybe start you a lot more action instead of it being way back here and stiffen right. up your so whole bait. Okay. You know, it makes it yeah. a little bit better. Are you from? So it makes a lot of sense. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So I got these. I was to match the, the lure stuff down oh, yeah. south. That is cool. Yeah. It's all translucent. That's cool. Uh, 3JD. Yeah. Those, those and also uh, another. Sometimes the, there's a bigger bait on the, yeah. like the bubble clucker and stuff. Mm -hmm. So with the extra wide gap hook, it allows it to stick out a little bit further. Yeah. yeah. So then, when a fish bites, uh, I know I got a, lot, a, I couple, a couple people that said, you know, the hook's too long, too wide, whatever. When a fish strikes, it opens his whole mouth. He doesn't just like nibble at it. It opens his whole mouth and takes it. You know what I mean? That's what I do. So exactly, they just smack it yeah. and take it. So <laughs> that being said, you don't have any issues hooking it. Yeah, not at all. Yeah. I mean, they got a whole bunch of different colors. I mean, you can check out all these colors. I got albino roach, Texas roach, Texas tea, black diamond. I got purples, pinks. I mean, I got everything. Anything you can think of. Oh, yeah. I got these. It has the orange uh, throw on it, and they actually glow in the dark, too. And was that those? Yeah. These and these glow in the dark also. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that is for real. <laughs> oh, they're clean. This is a head thong, man. That's those a head thong. brand new. Let me see that. Put that on. Let me see. How does that? How does that look? Is that how you wear them? This no. This is how people looking out there, man, with their head thong. That's their head thong. <laughs> I mean, you can either wear this or you can wear one of these. You know? Yeah. I mean, these look about <laughs> as normal as possible. Yeah. But you know, I don't get why all the fishing guys 
We're the chesty, man. Oh, it feels like a bra. It feels like a bra, it and then does. the whole time it's just you're reeling. Yeah. Your hand is just reeling in the frame. Yep, you're right. But this is no action. This, this is how we get the eats. This is how you get the eats. Yep. You know all the all the real action footage that people care about. You know. Yeah, what they want to see. Yep. They don't. But yeah, so this is a little demo we have, uh, basically uh, showing all the different setups that, that you can do with Action Hat. So Action Hat's pretty much like a lightweight tactical helmet, you yeah. know? Um, and if you drop it into water, it floats. But what makes it really cool is you can actually, you know, film with a smartphone, you can put it on the front, you could use the back mount and wear the hat backwards. So whatever angle you need, if you're really trying to fish and film and capture the action, that's what we're, that's what we're trying to make here. That's what we're trying to do. But I really like your swag too. You got a lot of yeah, a lot, lot of great designs, uh, a lot of cool sayings. Just uh, yeah. So it's just uh, it's just kind of a fresh take on uh, on fishing apparel. Yeah. I took a lot of like, I used to design shirts for streetwear. For, oh, you did know, you? Okay. Um, I didn't know that. So I took a lot of the same influences, doing some cool spoofs. You know, kind of mashing up the whole two, like run, fish, run. Yeah. So it'll run DMC throwback. Yeah. You know, I did salt side, just yeah. representing the salt. Uh, this is like a North Face spoof, face down, tail up. Yeah. That's a redfish tail. Uh, put it in a face. That's actually like a public enemy font. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. And then I got this uh, good fish. Uh, that's a, a good year. And then I got this, like, you know, Adidas influence redfish. So just kind of fun, simple shirts, man. Nothing yeah. too busy. Yeah, real. I like it. Real good. Hey, Appreciate man. Well, thanks, bro. bro. Hey. Keep doing what you're doing. I wear them. I wear them every day. Number one hat, right here. Appreciate That's it. Brother. What's up, Simon? What's up, bro? What we got going on today? So we're here at the fishing show over in Hitchcock, and we are promoting our programs at Sea Star Base Galveston. So when people come up, we of course show them our summer camps, which are coming around real quick. Um, really affordable, amazing program. The kids are gonna get to experience a lot of different things on the water during that week. So it's gonna be great. We also wanna promote our youth sailing, adaptive sailing, and community sailing programs as well. And then of course, we have the venue events like weddings and things like that where people can schedule it. And uh, but last but not least, Cody is of course we're getting our charters up off the ground, and that's fishing for a cause. So every bit that we earn from our charters gets put towards sending a child towards summer camp. So we're really excited to get those programs out there and share it with people, kind of in our local community. Whenever you're ready, go okay. ahead. Hi, I'm Becky with Down South Lures, and we're out here at that Got Fish Expo. Y'all come see us. We've got some brand new colors, never seen before. Um, we've got net gaiters, hats, uh, shirts, and lots of fishing lures. Hooks, come see us. You're a professional. So this is this is the color? This, yes, Jobo's Rum. What is it called? Jobo's Rum. Oh, Jobo's Rum, okay. Oh yeah, I like that. Got redfish. That's sweet. See that flounder up there? Yeah. There's a the flounder. Oh yeah, sure is. I like that. It's tomahawk. Oh yeah. He does some good work on the tomahawk. This is awesome. And these are the L and L lure custom painted. Okay. Yeah. More L and L custom painted. Yeah, I've seen a lot of the custom painted online. So you seen these? Yep, I see them online, Facebook, uh, oh, people yeah. sharing them, cool. stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, I do. I see them a lot. Instagram. Yeah, I, I think I follow you on Instagram as well. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, man, he makes some good hats. Too. Yeah, I mean, he's awesome with his stuff. That's a, that was awesome. Yep. So we're out here with Avid Angler. In case you don't know, the one and only best jewelry maker I think that that we have in our area maybe at anywhere so well, where, where can they find much. you at I'm located at the old Northwest Mall 9950 Hempstead Road in Houston it's a seven day a week operation the Antique Center of Texas and Avid Angler is located there been there for eight years seven days a week 
I make all of my own product. I work with sterling silver primarily. And uh, saltwater game fish is my specialty as well as I do freshwater. But primarily game fish is my main passion, saltwater. That's what we love. Yes, sir. <laughs> saltwater souls. Yes, sir. Absolutely. But it's always a, a pleasure making the products that people wear with pride and uh, all handcrafted, made one at a time. Absolutely. Just some of your great work. Thank you. You can always find him Facebook, always posting on there. So make sure you look him up and check him out. Great work. Thank you, kindly. Thank you, sir. What's going on, man? Ruben, Texas All Water Fishing. What's going on, brother? Chilling and grilling. Chilling and grilling. Yes, sir. <laughs> what we got going on out here today, Adam? <coughs> a little bit of everything, man. Got some pin reels, got some pin rods, got some bats and stuff, got some charters we're doing, some Texas tap out, a little bit of everything, you know. All right, brother. You selling some swag over here? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, freestyle? Yeah, trying to get rid of the gear so we can move some new stuff in. You get some. All right, that one right there. There's a man. There he is. Oh, Shagalicious. Shagalicious. Yeah, so pretty much we have a brand new modular tackle box here. Um, so as you can see, like all these bins actually snap out. So it allows you to customize the box exactly how you want. So the lid goes both, I mean the bins go both vertical and horizontal. And so once you get in place, you just press them in, they lock into place. And so this is the standard layout. So when you buy one, they come and they look the exact same, right? But in a couple seconds, you can actually switch them up. So for example, let's say we're gonna put one and we do like all top water lures. So we take all these smaller ones out, we take all these large ones and put them in here. And so once again, you just press them in, they lock in. And then you can throw all your smaller stuff in this one. So the versatility is like really, really awesome. Another benefit of having these bins are, um, with other boxes you have those dividers, right? So little pieces always go underneath or at the top, like swim pools or hooks and stuff. But this is a bin, so it's impossible to go underneath. So we're gonna set these baffles on the lid here. So it creates a seal on the top. So nothing goes from one bin to another because it creates a seal. Oh, yeah. yeah. But it's got like a waterproof and airtight seal on the lid. So everything's like waterproof and airtight. It's not gonna go, from, yeah, like no water's gonna get in. 316 stainless steel on everything. 316 stainless steel latches. It's also a durable box on the market. For example, the lid's made from the same material as bulletproof glass. Uh, UV additives that's gonna stay clear. Bottles made from the same materials like hard hats and blue elements. So.